Hello and welcome and thanks for stopping by. Here we are going to take another look at some of the new features in ArtRage 4.5. First we're going to open the Toolbox panel. And you can do that by going to View, Toolbox panel. I wish there was a shortcut for this, but there doesn't seem to be. The Toolbox is where you can collect your resources like layers, presets, color samples, and stencils in one convenient place. So it's, it's a nice little shortcut. So let me populate this toolbox. Some colors, layers, stencils, and some brush presets. So let's start with colors. I'm going to choose colors from my mummy image, which I drew in Art Rage. And speaking of colors, I am going to tell you why the grass looks greener on the other side. As artists, we deal with light and dark and shadow. So the reason the grass looks greener when you're on the other side of it, even if you go to both sides of the fence, is because the light is hitting the blades of grass at a different angle so they look brighter and greener, more colorful. So that's the reason. I'm glad I saw the one mystery in your life. So I'm just doing the same thing over and over, adding things to the toolbox. Here we go with layers. And let's create some numbers. And we're going to put those on different layers. Now I'm going to create some stencils from the numbers I created. Now let's add some brush presets. Uh, let's choose pastel, watercolor brush, and the oil brush. This time I'm going to make some adjustments to it. So you can see that you could save not only just the uh, default presets, but ones that you customize yourself. Okay, that's all done. So just press the enter or return key and you can go directly to workbench view. And now you can see that everything I added in the toolbox is up above in the workbench. Now the colors are always gonna be to the left with the other parts of the menu in the workbench. The pin board, which is next to the right of the up and down arrows, that is where you have some flexibility because now you can reposition all of these elements over here. So let's say I want the one on the layer and the one on the stencil to be together. So I can move those together. Likewise, the number two. And likewise, the number symbol. So there you have it. Also, from here, I can make layers visible or invisible from the pin board. And not only can I do it from here, but if I go to the layer on the workbench side, I mean, it's all the workbench, but the right side is called the pin board because that's where you've pinned stuff from the toolbox. I go to the workbench side and look at the layers here. I can select the layer that I want to work on and make that visible or invisible from here, just as I could from the pin board side. Also, I can choose a layer from the workbench side, and I'll, I'm going to let this one remain invisible, and then go to the pinboard side, and then make it visible from there. So you have a lot of options, however you choose to work. Okay, now let me save this toolbox, because if I don't save it, it's just going to be part of this file. Uh, but if I have some elements that I want, if I'm doing a certain set of drawings, and you know, want to maintain consistency with the tools and the colors, I will put those, I will save the toolbox for that reason.
Now I'm going to open a new file. As you can see, the toolbox panel is blank, so let me load the toolbox that I just saved. So the stencils and layers do not save because those are specific to the actual file you created, while the other ones are more global in use. Okay, so let me go back to the original file. Open that. Now let me show you how presets can be moved between groups or duplicated. So I can move a brush preset to a new group that I'll create. I'll create the group first because you create the group um, afterward it won't work. So create the group first. Now I'm going to go back to the preset and move this into the new group. There you have it. Voila. Now, I can't move the default preset to a group, so I have to duplicate that. So let me duplicate a preset, and now I'll move that into the new group I created. And voila again. So that completes our look at how we use the resources with the toolbox and the workbench. And we will end that here. And thanks for stopping by. Remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe. i uh, definitely like to know that you're getting something out of this and that you're sharing it with other people because you really think it's useful. And remember, just create. Bye.